there are four different types of sensors right now. More than ever, we live in a connected age. The emotion sensor, the PESA, those four different sensors that completely tell me what's going on with my body. Uh, all this information is on my phone. And then I can get actionable you know, in, um, information about what I need to do. Digital sensors are becoming increasingly invisible, woven like these into the fabric of fitness clothing, part of a vast data collection network. From fitness trackers to climate monitors, there are now billions of devices around the world recording and feeding back data every single second. But that data is largely meaningless unless it can be analysed in an intelligent fashion. And that's where advanced computers with what's known as machine learning can play an important role. Uh, we need the mental muscle to be able to power through all that data, to be able to visualise it, to be able to organise it, to classify it, that kind of thing. We just can't do that with our minds right now. The insights these powerful analysis and prediction tools can offer can make products more appealing, but they can also have a dark side, one highlighted last month by Nobel Prize winning physicist Stephen Hawking. Alongside the benefits, AI will also bring dangers like powerful autonomous weapons or new ways for the few to oppress the many. For the moment, artificial intelligence poses no immediate or obvious threat. But experts say it is a matter of time, and work needs to be done now. The technology can be used for, for good and for bad. And so let's not, uh, let's not hide behind that possibility. Um, you know, AI could be used for, to deal with partic particular issues around privacy and surveillance and things like this. That would bother me a lot, um, and would bother many others. So, uh, so yes, it can be used for bad outcomes. It's incumbent upon us to make sure that it's not concentrated in the hands of people who can uh, implement this without any check and balances. But for the moment, it seems every new startup is trying to get on the artificial intelligence ride. This carousel giving them the chance to pitch their ideas and to win funding. Ultimately, though, we must all decide the extent to which will allow increasingly powerful technology to take over our lives. Tarek Basley, Al Jazeera at the Web Summit in Lisbon.